Shit, I forgot my waist trainer. All right, ready to do cardio. September. September 6th today. We leave next Wednesday for Las Vegas. Kyle and I will be at the Olympia this year. First time ever going, so we're pretty excited. So I have got a, when <laughs> people say this, a crazy busy day today, but I do. Just because we have some clients who are doing a competition in three and a half weeks. And then our fall fitness challenge actually begins while we are gone. So we got to ensure that our plans are all complete and that we have everybody's programs sent out to them while we are out of the country. So yeah, just busy getting all of that together to make sure that everybody is taken care of. So Kyle, can I have a semi stress-free trip? But anyways, so that's been my morning. I have been finding that writing stuff down really allows me to ensure that I am getting everything done that I have planned for because in all honesty, my head's going a little bit crazy right now trying to keep everything organized up here and it's just not working so gotta write that shit down and then I'm really trying to make an effort to stretch and meditate in the morning it really helps set me up for a successful day it's a little bit difficult on the days that I accidentally sleep in because I have places to be so I'm trying my best to condition myself to wake up a little bit earlier so I still have that time for myself because in all honesty it really helps set me up for a successful day and because I did that this morning I actually got a lot done so because of that we are gonna go to the gym right now this workout is the same one from last week remember when I forgot to do my squats and I did them the next day well today I remembered them so we are squatting and benching today and then I think we have OHP as well so it is going to be an exhausting workout so let's get it
you think, not what you say CBWFKY chasing bullshit will fucking kill you Welcome back. Awesome workout today. Feeling super strong on my squats. I actually felt a little bit of pain in the right side of my glutes. So I don't know why. I think that they're just a little bit tight. So I had to drop the weight on my last two sets from 145 to 135, which is okay because that was the amount I was supposed to do, I believe, anyways. So it's all good. Bench press felt really tiring. Six reps for four sets. Felt like cardio. The gym I went to, the bench is a little bit slippery, hence the yoga mat. It stopped me from slipping so I could keep my arch in my back and I was a little bit more stable from doing that and it actually worked really well. So yeah, it is almost 1.30. I'm gonna have a quick snack and then I got a Skype consult with a client so I better get my post-workout meal in. Post-workout, bleh, post-workout. Jesus, talk, Kristen. Post-workout meal, a PB&J. Like, addicted to them lately. Oh shit, look at that. That's how you know you are bench pressing properly because you have to like bury your traps into the bench so your chin is like this on your chest. So that's makeup there. Super attractive, right? Anyways, I'm gonna eat my PB&J. It is 120 and then I got a Skype consult and then we are gonna talk about how to get a tiny waist. Ready, set, go. <laughs> What's up you guys? So I wanna take some time to talk about a question that I get quite a bit and that is how do you get a small waist? The answer to this question can be a little bit cringeworthy at times. I don't use a waist trimmer or like a vanishing wrap or any type of creams or anything like that. I didn't use that at all throughout my entire prep. I would never tell any of my clients or friends or people who ask me to waste their money on these types of products. Basically, your actual waist size is gonna be genetics. It's unfortunate, but that's just how it is. For instance, my waist is uh, 24 inches, and last year before I started prepping, it was maybe 25. So obviously, I've done a decent job of keeping some of that fat off so I can maintain a little bit of a smaller waist but I know other people in the fitness industry who have way smaller waists than me. So my recommendation for having a smaller waist is to create the hourglass shape through an illusion. So by this, I mean working on your lower body so it looks wider and your upper body so it looks wider. And that's gonna create 
the hourglass shape that we're all looking for. So I've spent a tremendous amount of time building my shoulders and my lats, building those up to create an illusion of a smaller waist. And same thing with your glutes, hamstrings, and quads. Those are my recommendations for having a smaller waist. Sorry if you guys were looking for some secret magical cream or wrap out there, but I'm sorry if they do not exist. So just take the time to accentuate your strong areas so that it creates the illusion. Hope that was helpful, you guys. Hello, what is wrong? Aw, oh, the kisses. What's up, guys? Just chilling with Hoot here while we wait for Kyle to get home. Oh, you know his name. Kyle. Yeah, don't worry, he's coming. <laughs> and I was just finishing up replying to some clients and I had a client ask me about why her macros are so high when she's trying to lose weight. And I'm gonna talk about this probably in my next video, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to quickly touch on it right here because there's a big misconception of how much food that you need to eat eat and the amount of people especially women who are consuming such little calories is sad so i'm gonna talk about this in my next video because a lot of people don't understand the concept that the more you consume the more you're gonna burn so stay tuned for my next video it's gonna be a very good topic so yeah i think that i am gonna conclude this video right here you guys and i hope you enjoyed it if you guys like this video make sure you hit that like button share this video to friends and family or anybody who is using a waist trimmer and stay tuned for the next video it's gonna be a good one see you guys in the next one